Not to be broadcast is brought to you by vibe.ng. I will blow your mind. <laughs> Seven years ago, the Nigerian music industry lost one of its finest Afro hip hop assets, Da Green, in a fatal car accident while he was on his way back from a late show in Mushin, Lagos State. Although indigenous hip hop had made it to the mainstream through the likes of Nigger Raw and Lord of Ajasa, Da Green brought a whole new vibe to the game. With classics like Pom Pom Pom, Kondo, and his unforgettable feature on General Pipe's Champion, amongst others, Da Green took Yoruba rap to another level, making it cool, appealing, and more consumable to even non Yoruba listeners. <laughs> Upon his death, many conspiracy theories surfaced with regards to him dying untimely, saying that Da Green had joined an occultic fellowship to help him gain fame and fortune. The story went as far as claiming that Da Green had failed to offer up his mom for the renewal of his alleged occultic membership, which led to his own life being taken instead. Coincidentally, Da Green had recorded a track titled If I Die before he passed on, which made the cult rumors spread further. Well, even though him singing about his own death was a bit spooky, it really would not be the first time a musician would be doing this. The likes of Label Mathosa, Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon, Tupac, Biggie and more had made music and insinuations about their death before it happened. It is obviously safe to say that Da Green left the indigenous rap genre in safe hands as the likes of Olamide, Fino, Lil Kesh, Zoro and more have commendably kept the flag flying high. Da Green blessed the industry with a few projects including his CEO album, which was splendidly received and applauded by Nigerians. Though he may have left the scene too soon, Da Green will continue to be remembered as one of the greatest acts to ever do it out of Nigeria. For more sizzling gist and interesting trends, kindly follow us across all our social media platforms on vibe.ng.